Hello, good evening, Darwin, Don Osmin. Hello, good evening, Hello. Darwin. Angela. How are you, chicos? Very nice. Okay. Very good. Very good, okay. Me too. Me yeah. too. Okay. Are you ready for the class? Hello? Yes, we are ready for the class. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are you? Hello, Good evening. Hello, Thank evening. you. Nice. Thank you for being Welcome. on time. Thanks. Nice, nice. Just let me connect myself uh, from the other device because I'm always connected in two devices just in case, right? If something happened with the laptop, so I need to have a plan B. I'm already there, yes. Recording in progress. Okay. Now, yes, I'm connected right here. So, hello, how are you? So, uh, I have some messages right here. Um, if you text me during the class, so obviously I will be able to answer, but it will be a little bit later, later, right? Because during the class, so I'm not with my phone, but I'm always uh, paying attention to the uh, messages. It says right here, uh, load the Miranda, it says, uh, voy de camino. Okay, so no problem. Just remember um, the, um, the attendance, right? So the attendance is very important. Um, yeah, uh, right now we are uh, 12 participants in the class. So we are almost, almost with all the participants. Okay, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for um, your cameras. Okay, you know that it's something important to be with the camera on um, during the whole section, right? So welcome, thank you. Okay, and this is the second day, right? So we have the second day. Um, I don't know if we have someone new that was not here yesterday. Let's see in the participants' names. I guess so. We have someone here that was not here yesterday, but <laughs> me. Hi, yeah, me. I know, Susanna. I saw your face and I was like, hmm. Yeah, I'm but sorry. it's nice. Okay, it's nice that you are um, um, here in the class, right? So we are about to pass the attendance and welcome, Susanna. This is me, okay, Luz Guzman. Uh, I don't know if we all are in the WhatsApp group. I saw that someone joined the group just today in a, a few minutes me. ago. Oh, that, that was I, you. I, oh, okay. Yes. Okay, no problem. So I will put it in the chat, my name and the number. In case if you need it. So that is my WhatsApp and call, regular call number. And uh, we are in the WhatsApp group. So if someone here is not in the group, let me know, okay? Because uh, we can share with you the link for the uh, WhatsApp group. Um, then let me validate with the with all of you. We all have access to the um, platform, right? So todos ya ingresaron a la plataforma o hay alguien que no ha podido ingresar for ABC, whatever reason? Creería yo que no, but let me know, okay? Let me know if someone have a problem so we can uh, request a support from the IT department and they can help us, okay? But for right now, I guess that we all have access to the uh, platform, right? So Let's see, how are you, Darwin? I see that you are in blue. So Darwin, do you like football? Yes, teacher. 
I like football. Ah, okay. Football. So, well, so since you like football, so right now it's La Selecta match, right? So, va ganando, yeah. va ganando. Si aquí, aquí está con un ojo aquí, un ojo en la televisión. Mentira. <risa> Mentira, no se crean. Aquí estoy en un cuarto encerradita, en el cuarto de mi bebé. Pero sí, ya me textearon ahí que eh, va ganando El Salvador. O sea, le, Darwin, no sé, no sé. Lo veo como que usted está eh, frente de la TV. <risa> No sé, se me ve. I, I see that you are a little bit suspicious, like with the, uh, you are with one eye in the class and the other one in the TV. Okay, so let's see, Osmin, what about you, Osmin? Do you like uh, football, soccer? Uh, yes, I like me. Okay, soccer. so are you watching the La Selecta match? No, in this moment, I are ready for the class. Ah. <laughs> no, okay. I clear my room. <laughs> okay, no problem, Asmin. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. So, what happened with the camera, Suma? I don't see your camera. Uh, Sandra, let's see. Lourdes, Adriana. My goodness. Thank you, Rafael. And what happened with the backgrounds? Rafael Ernesto. Sorry. What happened with the backgrounds today? Oh no, that was not you. That was not you. You yesterday you were you were the one with issues, right? With the you yes. you sent me a message. Okay, yeah, I know that you were here, but then you left because of the problem that you have. Okay, no problem. So thank you, Sandrita, for the camera. Nice, Mayra. Thank you for the camera. Now we have, let's see, Flor, nice. Adriana, thank you. Jancy, nice. Okay, thank you. Ahí está. Eh, Patricia, Rosa, thank you, Michelle, for the camera. Angela, Angela, you are in blue as well. Yo era yes. de venir de azul, but right? I forgot and I put it in black. Yes. So yes, today yes. is the blue color, right? Because of la selecta. <laughs> Okay, nice. So let me pass the attendance. Okay, so today we have to start with the uh, exercise that we have in the in the um, book. Okay, the manual that we have. But just let me pass the attendance really quick. Just let me open the file. And let's see. Don't forget the mute, 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 mute. Okay, so let me see. This is the intermediate two. Okay, the same story as yesterday, you know, I have to pass the attendance uh, three times. So I will say your name and you just have to say, yes, I'm here, present and uh, so on, right? So today is uh, Tuesday the uh, 16th, right? So 16th. Nice. Uh, let's see, Ada Patricia Linares. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Thank you, Adri. Um, then we have Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Present. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, then we have Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Darwin Edgardo. Darwin Edgardo. Yes, okay. Thank you. Let's see. We have as well uh, Flor de Maria. Present. Thank you, Flor. Let me see, Flor de Maria. Then we have uh, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Gloria. Nice. Joanna Patricia. Joanna. 
not here yet. Okay, so probably she's coming. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Lourdes. Um, Margarita Stephanie. Margarita, do you know Margarita? No, because she was not here yesterday and also today. So I don't know if you know her, but hopefully she will join us because remember that if you miss one or two classes, so automatically it's like you don't get the, the percentage, right? The 85% to, to pass, but I don't know what happened with her. So let's see, Mayra, Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo. Nelson, I haven't seen. Nelson, Nelson, no. No. Uh, Ophelia Orellana. Ophelia, yes, I know that you are, yes, you are there. Thank you, Ophelia. Um, then we have Osmin Virus. Osmin, yes, thank you, Osmin. Rafael Ernesto, now Rafael, I know you are there. Present. Thank you, nice. Um, then we have Rosa Elena. Present. Rosa Elena, thank you, nice, nice. You are so happy today, Rosa, because of the selector, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, nice, yes, it is nice. Uh, let's see, then we have Sandra Gladys Mendes. Sandrita. Present. Sorry. Okay, thank you, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> then we have Susana, Susana, Carolina, now you are present. here. I'm here, present. Thank you, nice, nice to have you, nice to meet you, um, Susana. Okay, perfect. Uh, Jancy, Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Jancy, nice, nice. Um, Sulma Rosaura. Present. Okay, thank you, Sulma. Nice, nice to have you here one more time. And that's it. Okay, so remember that I will pass the attendance uh, one more time, right? Um, at night, okay? So in the middle of the class, and then uh, we are going to pass the attendance at the end. So let's see, let's see, uh, Susana, I'm sorry, Susana, but yesterday we did a, you know, like kind of small presentation, la, 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 who are you, what do you do, something that you like, something that you don't like, so tell us, Susana, how are you, tell us a little, a, a little bit about uh, you, I guess that you already know all of them, but I don't know you, <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Hi, everybody. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you again. I'm sorry because I, yesterday I, I can't take the class. Uh, I have to work a lot. And uh, I like mm, I like the music. I like talk. I like no people. I like a little bit the football. I say that because you are talking about it. And um, only I work in laboratory spine. I have a uh, 13 years working in their place. And um, I think it's only that. I like okay. the animals. I have right. many animals. Oh yes. my goodness. So do you have pets, right? So how many yes, pets I have do pets. you have? Yes, sorry. I have already uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like six. Pets. Dogs, cats? I have, I have a one dog, two cats. Three turtles, they have a bunny. Oh my yes. God. Yes, I, I see that you are an animal lover. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. I like animals. I, I have a dog as well. It's a little Thank bunny. Nice it's a little puppy. Too. Nice to meet you, Susanna. Thank you for being in the class. And uh, well, let's start. Let me share the screen. Now we have to uh, start with the class, with the original presentation and everything. Just let me share the screen. And yeah, I guess you can see the uh, screen right now, right? So let me make it bigger for you right here. And this is what we have. Okay, so we have the topic that it's a vocabulary 
product development. Okay. Do you know what is development? What is development? Desarrollo. Desarrollo, right? So, desarrollo. So, uh, yesterday we mentioned many things about rules, about uh, be on time, about the camera, about the dates that we are going to. Susana, we will finish this course on December the 17th, right? So, Friday, it's Friday, December 17th. So, you have until that day to complete all your platform. Uh, activities, right, to pass the a course. Remember that there is not like a grade that I will assign to you. It's some, everything that you do uh, in your platform. Those are your grades. And also the uh, participations and the attendance, right? So those are the two things that we need to uh, take care. And uh, as I told you yesterday, I know that it's sometimes it's a little bit difficult it's uh, we are tired and everything but please be in the class okay be on the class try to be in a comfortable area at home where you can concentrate and uh, learn something that's the idea right learn something new I guess that you have a notebook or I don't know something to write and something like a pen or a pencil so that's my be my best advice for you to have something in which you can you know take notes in case if we have a new work or something that you are like, mm, I don't know what is that. So you can write it down and later you can search for the word to see the meaning, right? So that's the idea. Every time that you see a new work, so write it down, okay? So it's not like, oh, I don't know what it is, but I don't care. No, if you see a word and you say, mm, that word is new for me. I haven't seen it before. So write it down, search for the meaning of that word and then keep it in mind. So later you will have more and more and more vocabulary, okay? So uh, this is the topic, okay? If you see in your manual, so we are going to be talking about products, okay? So remember that the program, the program is Inglés para el Trabajo, right? So that's the way we call uh, to this uh, program. So all the topics are regarding or related with uh, job activities, right? So that's why the topic is product development, okay? So we are going to talk about how we can release, how can we launch, launch um, a new product. You know what is launch? Ya han escuchado esa palabra, launch? We are going to launch. Lanzamiento, right? So if you see, for example, with iPhones, no sé, phones, se me viene a eso la mente, right? With iPhones, okay? So they say, oh, we are going to launch the new iPhone, the last version, the iPhone 13, okay? So they use that word and they say, yes, we are going to launch. That means that they are going to present the new product, okay? So that's what we are going to be talking, okay? So let's see. And this is the presentation that we had from yesterday. So uh, as you see, this is the topic, product develop. So all of you, you do something. Uh, you mentioned yesterday that you work in different areas, that you have, uh, probably you are working with computers or with people, with different materials, but in the company that you work, so you need to do something. Probably, uh, I don't know if you have clients, if you have customers, but always in a business, we need to develop, we need to do something to get money, right? Because if we don't sell the products or if you have a business or something, so the idea for you is to make money, right? But in order for you to do it, so you need to have the product, okay? You need to evaluate, you need to think about what you are going to do um, in order for you to uh, sell your products, okay? So this is product development. That means that we need to uh, be able to create, okay? So we are going to use 
or creativity, okay? So today we are going to do some uh, presentations, okay? So we have a small, small definition right here about product development. Uh, let's see, probably Mayra, Melanie, please help us uh, with the reading, okay? Just uh, help me out right here to read this uh, small um, definition about product development, please. Okay. Product development is the complete process of delivering a new product or improving an existing one for customers. Okay, thank you, Mayra, nice. So this is an, a small definition. And it says that this is a complete process. So that means that in order for me to do a, the develop of a product, it's not like, oh, here it is, right? So you need to start with a process, okay? And put everything like in order, do the steps to create something that is product developed, right? So since the very beginning, probably you have the idea, right? So we will see the steps in a few more minutes, but you have the idea, okay? Something that can be um, accessible for everyone, something that uh, customers will enjoy, something that can be easy to, you know, do the manufacture and everything and then sell it, right, to make money as an example, right? So that is the product development definition, okay? So delivering a new product or improving. What is improving? You know what is improving? Mejorar. Mejorar, right? So it's delivering a new product or improving an existing one, okay? Mejorar un producto que ya existe, right? For customers, okay? Para los clientes. So let's see what else we have right here. This is something that we have in the book. Remember that we have the manual, right? So the idea is that uh, you can uh, go ahead and download or, well, if you don't want to download the book, so you know that you have it there, right, in the platform every single day if you need it. So we are going to be working with this because this is mandatory. This is something that we need to um, work always, right? So let's see. Uh, let's see. This is the uh, instruction that we have right here, Rodrigo and Edgar. Uh, let's see, Rosa, Elena, please help us to read just this little uh, paragraph right here that says Rodrigo and Edgar, please. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo and Edgar are the founders of Speech Masters, an academy to help business people become better at public speaking. They want to offer a new course and they are discussing the characteristics of their new products. Read the conversation. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Rosa, Elena, nice. So uh, who is, let's see, Flor de Maria, who is Rodrigo and Edgar? Who are they? Flor de Maria? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, who are uh, Rodrigo and Edgar? Based on what we just have in these slides, who are they? Public, better at public speaking. Okay, so they are the founders. Okay, they are the founders of the speech masters. So this is like the name mm. of the company, right? Speech masters. That's the name of the company. That means that they are the founders. They are the owners. Mm. Okay, they are the bust, okay, of this company, okay? So, and what is, let's see, Michelle, what is a speech master about? What is that? It's an academy uh, to help business people become a better at public speaking. There you go, nice, okay? The speech masters, it's an academy, okay? And what is the academy about? It's a business, it's a company for business people become better at public speaking. That means that that's why the name, right? Speech masters, okay? Because they help the other ones 
to um, give them like the ability to speak in public, okay? Remember that there are different techniques that when you are in front of someone or in a group, so you need to have some techniques, right? To get the attention and everything. So they are experts and what they do is teach the other people to um, do better when they are speaking, right? In public, okay? So what they do, they want to, um, offer a new course and they are discussing the characteristics or their new product, okay? So that's what they are doing. They are thinking about a course, okay? That probably they can sell with the companies, okay? So let's see the conversation. So right now, um, I'm going to read it just one time, okay? So I will read it at one time and then we can do role play, okay? And you can read as well this conversation between um, Rodrigo and Edgar, okay? And it says, it says, it says right here, hi, Edgar, I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. Then Edgar says, first, you should write down any idea related to the market. We want to offer a course. Then Rodrigo says, oh, good idea. But it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. And then Edgar says, oh, don't worry, partner. It's not, uh, it's not a big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening. Okay, a screening the concept to, I'm sorry, screening the concept development and testing the business analysis. And then Rodrigo says, I'm not sure, I understand. And then Edgar says, relax. I have done this kind of work before. Just give me the time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay, so let me ask you, do we have any new work right here in this conversation? Do we have something that it's not clear? Any new work or any new phrase that probably we have in this uh, conversation? No? Maybe screening? Ah, okay, this one, screening. Okay, nice. Do you have an idea what is the screening? screen is like pantalla. Mm -hmm. There you go. But in this case, that will be a screening. Aha, uh -huh, screening. Do you have any, any idea? So remember that what they are doing, it's trying to analyze, okay, how they are going to offer this course to the other uh people right so because this is a business okay this is a business so they are thinking on sell this uh, product this course so a screening that will be like testing okay como una prueba aquí podría decir un sinónimo screening podría ser testing una prueba okay en español así podríamos decir un test Ok, un test, un, una evaluación, un screening. Es como si yo veo la palabra screen, pantalla. Pero en este caso lo pongo en contexto screening. Estamos hablando de un análisis. Ellos van a valorar el panorama, el, el negocio, right? So that would be screening, un testing, ok, un testing. How people can see, ok, es como que usted ponga, no sé, a vender fresco, digamos, no sé, un ejemplo, right? So usted tiene que analizar, no va a ir a vender fresco a la, qué sé yo, a las 5 de la mañana, cuando está haciendo un gran frío, no se va a ir a poner a vender fresco, right? So you are screaming, okay? So usted analyze the, the public or the customers, the clients that you have to create your product, right? So that's what they are going to do. Nice. Do we have any other work probably that can be new for you or no? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, what, Lord. what is the, thank you. What is the meaning deal? Deal. It's no deal, deal. Ah, 
Um, that's nice. That is a that is a phrase. Okay, let me see what it said. Don't worry. Okay, it's not a big deal. Okay, this is a common, common, common expression in English. Okay, so in Spanish we say, oh, this is a piece of cake. Easy. Okay, this will be easy. So it's not a big deal. It's a common um, expression in English. Okay, if we translate the this, esto no es algo complicado, right? Esto no es algo difícil. It's not a big deal. Quiere decir como, hey, le dice, don't worry, partner. Hey, tranquilo, compañero. Esto está fácil, right? So that will be, it's not a big deal. Okay, that means that it's something easy to do. Okay, thank you, Lower. That's nice. Thank Every you, time teacher. that you have a new work, let me know. No me tenga miedo, no me tenga pena. Usted, mire, teacher, eso ahí, no entiendo qué, qué es. Okay, so that's the idea that we need to be clear. Nice. Do we have any other uh, new work or new expression? No? Relax or relax. Ah, okay, this one, relax. <laughs> relax. Ayer les dije, relax, don't get panicked. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije? Relax, okay, tranquilo, okay. In Spanish, we don't say relax. ¿Cómo decimos en español? Tranquilo, al suave, le dice el compañero. Agarrala al suave. Le. Okay, so that would be relax, okay? Like, take it easy, okay? Take it easy, okay? Don't worry, don't get panicked, don't get stressed. Relax. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's the meaning? Uh, what's the meaning? Um, point. Point. Which point. Who say it? Rodrigo second. or Edgar? Rodrigo. Second. Second. Good. Sounds confusing. I have never done anything. Second. Second sentence. Ah, this one, pointers. Okay. Pointer. If you could give me some pointers. Aha. Uh -huh. In this case, remember, uh, we need to put the word in, in the content, right? So I wonder if you could give me some pointers. That means ideas. That means some examples. Okay. Yo le puedo decir, uh, give me some examples. Give me some ideas. Give me some clues. Okay. Algunas tips, algunos eh, puntos, algunos opiniones, algunos ejemplos, right? So that would be a, a, a synonym of pointers, ok? Como ideas. Es lo que le está pidiendo es como ideas. Hey, ¿cómo hacemos esto, right? ¿Cómo lo vendemos? Dime tú, ¿cómo podemos eh, hacer, right? So pointers, that would be pointers. Ok, nice. Thank you, Sandrita. Nice. Uh, do we have any other new work? No? Okay, so let's continue. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Angela. Angela, you will be Rodrigo. And Jancy Lisbeth, you will be Edgar. Please uh, try to read um, with the um, question marks or the exclamations remember in english the intonation is very important okay so go ahead please angela and jancy okay hi edgar i wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course i don't know where to start first you should write down any idea related to, to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it's still so confusing. I had never done anything like that. Don't worry, but partner is not big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, uh, the concept, the concept development, and testing the business analyst. I am not sure. I don't understand. Relax. I have done this key 
of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. How to do it. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Perfect, nice. So remember pronunciation is very important, okay? Pronunciation. So wonder, in this case, uh, wonder, right? So I wonder, okay? I wonder, course, okay? Wonder. Se escribe course, okay? But the pronunciation will be like course, okay? Course. So the new uh, course. Course. Then uh, course. we have um, relate, okay, relate, okay, any idea relate, okay, mm -hmm. confusing, okay, still sounds confusing, okay, and this one development, okay, development, development, sure, okay, sure, I'm not sure, okay, sure. And this one, oh. kind, this kind, okay? King, el rey es otra cosa, right? Kind, okay? Algún tipo, right? Kind. Kim, kind, okay? Different kind. And the last one, it's, this is something that it's easy, but normally we pronounce it together. Do it, okay? Usted lo quiere pronunciar de forma full, Sería so like, do eat, pero you will listen that American people, they don't really, they don't really do it like, do eat. No, right? They just say, do it, do it like that, okay? So, nice. Let's see. Now, uh, Rafael, please help us. Rafael, you will be Rodrigo and uh, Darwin. Darwin, you will be Edgar. So go ahead, please, uh, Rafael and Darwin. Okay. Hi, Edgar. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Hello. Go ahead. Continue, okay, uh, okay. Ernesto. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointer to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. Here, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer, of course. Good idea, but a style sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not this deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I've been done this kind of work before. Just give, give me the time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay, nice. Thank you, nice. Let's see, uh, we have a relate. One more time, this word a relate. This is um, an expression like in past, right? Relate. Steel, 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 steel. And sure, one more time. I'm not sure, okay? Sure. It's like, it's not like with you. No, no tanto suena la U, sino que es like, sure, sure, okay? I'm not sure, okay? Sure? No, really, right? No suena mucho, así como la U ahí no suena mucho. It's like, sure, okay? Sure. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, we are going to continue because of the because of the um, because of the time. Okay. So we have another um, dialogue that we will role play. Okay. Porque yo sé que todos quieren leerlo, pero because of the time, so we have to continue. Okay. So then we are going to. Um, 
see that the next one, okay? So let's see, we have some uh, prayer word right here. So look, we are going to have these uh, three questions. The questions are based on the conversation. So let me, I will, I will share it with you probably in the WhatsApp group. Just let me take a screenshot right here. And these ones are the questions. So we are going to have the small groups right now. And what we are going to do is a simple answer the questions, discuss the answers to the questions belong. So based on the conversation with Rodrigo and Edgar, so we are going to answer these uh, three questions, okay? So I'm going to create the rooms right now and I uh, will give you four minutes, okay? Four minutes for you to answer the, um, for you to answer the three questions. I don't know if we are clear with the instruction, what we are going to do in the small groups. Yes, it is clear. It's clear. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, perfect. Yes. We have four minutes, okay? No lo voy a dejar ahí forever. It's just four minutes, okay? Four minutes for you to answer the three questions based on the conversation. I will share it with you in the WhatsApp group, okay? So let me create the groups right now. And I will open the rooms right now and we have four minutes only, okay? So we have, let's see, we have four groups, okay? We have four and five participants in each one, okay? So let me open the rooms and you, have a, you will have a message in your screen, you just have to click a set and that's it, right? You will be uh, moving yourself into the room that you will be assigned, okay? So let's do it right now. ¿Qué piensas, chicas? Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course social by himself? Why or why not? Yes. Yes, uh, because uh, with help 
eh, with other person, con, con la ayuda de otra persona, sí. No, pero es como el mismo. Por el solo. Ajá. Ajá. Pues no. Por el solo. Sí, no, sí. no, porque sí. Ajá. sí.
Hello, 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 welcome back. So we are one more time in the main room. Okay, so yeah, we are here. So I don't know if the time was enough for you to complete the uh, all the answers, but we will see, okay, we will see. And if you don't have everything, um, don't worry, okay? So I will help you, I will help you, okay? So we need to see um, the answers based on the conversation, right? So based on the conversation, we are going to answer those questions. So just let me see. Okay, so let me let me share the screen one more time. Okay, so let's see if we can do it together. Okay, so let's see um gloria elizabeth read the question number one and uh tell us your answer okay so the one that you work in your group okay uh, do you think rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself why or why not <clears throat> No, because uh, uh, he doesn't any idea. Okay, okay. It can be, right? So like, the question says, do you think Rodrigo could develop a new course successfully by himself? And the next uh, question is why or why not, right? So remember that Rodrigo, at the beginning, he says that it's wonder, okay? It's kind of uh worry about okay because he's kind of confusing right so to do it by himself okay so little right so it's asking uh for support right it's asking uh to edgar to help him because probably it's new on that process right so that's why he's wondering so let me see if i can I don't know if we have any any other any other answer from the question number one. Do we have any other answer? Volunteers? I think that he's mm -hmm. not I think that he's not a uh, he doesn't he doesn't yeah he doesn't cool he doesn't cool okay uh, because he's not sure he don't understand mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay yeah he is confusing he's okay confusing, yes. it's confusing okay so probably he can do it okay probably he can do it but at right now it's confusing okay mm -hmm. it's confusing about it and uh that's why he's like asking for help because he never complete that process before or that task that activity that practice so that would be like the complete answer right because it says why okay so he may be able to do it but he feels confusing okay he uh feels confusing about what he is planning to do okay and why because he never uh done before that activity and that's the reason okay that is why not because he never done that task or that activity before okay so let's see uh question number two just let me put it right here so question number two let's see uh mayra melanie Read the question number two, please, and tell us your answer. Okay. What is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? 
Mm -hmm. And our answer is he doesn't he doesn't know how to start the process of creating the new course. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, the question says, what is the step, right? Uh, the step of uh, the product development process. Uh, Rodrigo is struggling, okay? What is struggling? Do you know what is struggling? Difícil, right? So es como struggling. Exacto, es complicado. So usted me dice, mire, I'm a struggling um, drawing. Okay, yo lo pongo a hacer un dibujo, a usted se le complica, right? So no dibuja. So struggling, that means that you are doing the activity, but it's not easy for you. So that would be the answer, okay? So he is struggling with describing the new course and identifying the the target market that means the the customers that probably they will have with the develop of that course okay nice let's see the last one number three uh let's see um let's see let's see osmi invite us please read the question number three and tell us your answer okay uh, what is tip should Rodrigo take after identify the target market for the new product? Mm -hmm. The answer I know how because no have time for writing for. <laughs> okay, okay. So I know okay, you were I was in your group as well, and I know that the time was not enough. But let's try to see if we can get the answer. So, what are the steps? Uh, should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market for the product? So let me go back to the presentation right here and the conversation that we have right here. So what would be uh, the answer in this case? So the uh, steps, okay? The uh, steps are basically uh, this one, Edgar. Edgar mentioned the uh, steps, right? That he, after um, first, we need to have an idea generation. Then they need to screening, a screening, and then they have to develop, and then they have they can test, okay, and then do the analyst, okay. So that will be the 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 steps, okay. So the answer can be, ah, okay, the steps for this product uh, generation will be. Idea generation, screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. Okay, so basically, it's a, that is the answer. What Edgar uh, mentioned to Rodrigo. Okay, what to do and how to do it. Okay, nice. So, are we clear with the answers? Estamos bien ahí with all the answers. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Osmin. Nice. So let's okay. continue. Let's continue. Now what we have is this. Okay. We will try to do it together. Let me make it bigger for you. And we are going to put in order this work. Okay. These words that we have right here. So this is a uh, building vocabulary. Okay. Remember that we are in the product gener product development unit number one. So uh, it says, how does a new product development okay how does a new product development number the steps in order from one to eight then compare with a partner so let's do it individually so we have different words right here okay different um steps okay remember that the unit is product development okay imagínese ahorita que usted es un, un empresario Ok, un empresario que quiere desarrollar un producto. So what will be the steps? What will be the order for you to complete or accomplish that process? Ok, so we have different words. We will see later the, 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 the meaning. Ok, but we have right here product development, uh, concept and development testing, business analysis, this. Uh, marketing, idea screening, launch, 
uh, commercialization and idea generation. So uh, what will be the order? What will be the order? So you have to uh, steps, okay? You need to put it in order from one to eight. So you have just one minute, okay? Let's do it individually. And uh, probably we can have different point of view, right? I don't know who's saying they have problems. That is uh, Susie, I guess, Hernandez. I have problems with my internet connection. I'm sitting right here in the group. Okay, so let's see. Uh, probably if you are not 100% clear, don't worry, okay? So the, all the ideas are valid, okay? So uh, let's see who? Darwin, Darwin Edgardo. So how, what would be the number one for you from all these words? So thinking about product development, so what would be the first step? that you need to complete or that you need to do in order for you to launch or develop a product. Darwin? Hello, teacher. Yes, so what would be number one for you? For me, number one is idea screening. Idea screening, okay, 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 can be, can be. Let's see Adriana Martinez, what would be number one for you? The number one, I think, um, idea screen. Uh -huh. Idea screen. Mm, let's see, let's see, Patricia, Patricia Linares, what about you? What would be the first step? Imagine that you are a businessman, a business businesswoman, okay? You have a lot of money, so you are trying to develop a product. So what would be the first thing that you are going to do? For me, is idea generation. Mm, okay, yeah, that would be idea generation, right? So you need to have the idea, like you are thinking, oh my God, I have money, so I have money to invest in something. So you have to think about, okay? So I'm not saying that you will be like, you know, spending thousands of dollars, right? So you can think in a business, I don't know, probably some of you have a business. So you need to think first in something that can give you money. Right, so that will be idea generation, okay? So that you are thinking, hmm, let's see what I can sell, where, how, how much will be. So it, it is something that I can do, it is something that is accessible, it is something that can, you know, be affordable and so on and so on, okay? Nice, let's see, what will be the second one? Let's see, uh, Ophelia Orellana. What do you think about the second step? Uh, I do in uh, die. I'm sorry, what would be? Uh, if there is happy baby. Uh, let's see which one, which one? What would be the number two? Uh, this I need is mm -hmm. um chicken. Mm -hmm. So okay, no problem, no problem, Ophelia. Let's see, let's see. Remember that what we are doing is putting in order, right? So estamos tratando de ordenar estas palabras del uno al ocho, right? So which ones are like the steps, okay? The steps to follow, okay? Uh, let's see, 
let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Michelle, what do you think? Michelle, what will be number two? I think that the number two is idea screening. Ah, okay, perfect. Yes, it is idea screening. Okay, so idea screening, dijimos que era like, Echarse la visual, dice uno, right, en español, analizar el campo, ver el mercado, ok, remember, imagínense que ahorita usted está pensando y ya viene una actividad donde usted va a crear un producto, ok, so piense que usted tiene dinero y todo para crear algo, so you have to have idea generation first and then idea screening, ok, that means that you need to take a look on the, the possible customers that you will have. Okay, nice. Thank you, Michelle. Nice. Uh, let's see. Um, Sulma, Rosaura, Sulma, Sulma, yes. Sulma, what will be number three for you? What will be number three? Uh, I think IVA screening. That is number two. Idea screening, it's number two. And in concept development and testing. Perfect. There you go. That will be the number three. Concept development and testing. That means that you have an idea, okay, of what you are going to uh, present and you are going to test, right? You are going to evaluate, you are going to analyze. It is affordable, it is nice, it is a good idea. Okay, so that will be number three. Nice, let's continue. Uh, Rafael, Rafael Ernesto, what, what will be the number four? Oh my goodness, what time is it? Huh? Sorry, Rafael, I have to pass the attendance. Oh my God, time is flying. Okay. Sorry, I have to pass the attendance. I will do it right now and then we are going to continue. Okay, so just give me... Okay, so I need to validate the attendance one more time. So let me know. Uh, if you are here, Ada Patricia. Here. Thank you, Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Um, Ana Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you, Darwin Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Flor de Maria. Present. Nice. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Joanna Patricia. Joanna Patricia, no. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Margarita Stephanie. No, right. Margarita is not here. Mayra Melanie. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, Ophelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ophelia. Osmin Baires. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you, Miss. Sandra Gladys. Present, teacher. Thank you, Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you, Susan. Um, uh, Jancy. Present. Thank you, Jancy. Nice. So let's continue. Okay. So let's continue. Let me, let me go back to right here. So what would be the number four for you, uh, Rafael? Maybe I think business analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Business analysis. Okay, there you go. That will be number four, right? Business analysis. And what is this? So, el análisis del negocio, right? So, every time that you fresco o lo que sea que usted piense vender, hasta eso hay que pensarlo, right? So, no usted se va a poner a vender fresco a las 10 de la noche. 
no, nadie le va a comprar right a esa hora, right? So business analysis is that you need to take the time, okay, to analyze and see if the idea that you are having, it's uh, working, okay? Pero si usted ve que no vendió nada, ya lleva un mes y no vendió nada, so algo pasa ahí, un problema, right? So you, you better say, no, I have to switch the product, I have to switch it, okay? So that is the, that is the, the idea, okay? Uh, Sulma Rosaura, I'm sorry, let me, like, I already passed the, the attendance, I didn't mention you, that's right. You, Sulma, you. yeah, but you have the attendance, okay? Don't worry, okay? Sulma, you have the attendance. <laughs> okay, that was my mistake. <laughs> okay, so let's continue, let's see, let's see, what would be number five? Let's see, Osmin. You are a businessman, okay? What would be the, what would be yeah. the step number five? Uh, I think product development. Perfect, product development. That would be uh, step number five. So you have the product, so you have to launch the product and sell it or do it or whatever it is, right? Nice. Uh, Lourdes, Beatriz, what would be the number six for you? Step number six. Mm, for me, test marketing. Perfect. There you go. Test marketing. Okay. So as I told you, every time that you have an idea about something, you need to test if it is something that can give you money, right? So the, al finalizar esta clase, usted va a terminar siendo una persona de negocio y pensando qué, de, qué hacer, qué vender, qué producir, right? So that's the idea, okay? That's the unit, okay? So that's the topic. Uh, let's see, uh, Rosa Elena, what will be the number, step number seven? Uh, launch. Hmm. Mm, can be launch, but before launch it, we have to do the commercialization. Okay, commercialization, that means, uh, mira, voy a vender tal cosa, right? So that would be the commercialization, right? Hey, te aviso que el tal día, tal hora, voy a vender oh, yes. tal cosa, right? So mm -hmm. like, as I told you, with the phones, eso es bien común, los de iPhone, Apple Company, they do it, right? Le mandan un correo, hey, no te pierdas, el tal día, tal hora, vamos a dar a conocer el new product, right? The new phone. Mm -hmm. So they do the commercialization, that means like commercials, and then um, they, launch. They, they launch, okay? okay. So launch will be the last Okay. The last step, okay. Thank you. Commercial, commer commercialization is not when when you sell the product. In that case, in that case, it's not okay because okay. if we translate the word, so we would say no. I solo hice al final ya venderlo, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, right. But in this case, it's like commercials, okay? Okay. okay? Commercials, that means advertisements that you are ah, okay. putting like pictures. Siempre se ah, fijan okay. que cuando va a haber una promoción de algo empiezan a poner It's like uh, a secret. Exacto. <laughs> al, eh, próximamente, right? So okay. we will have this and this. So that will be the commercialization, okay? Ah, okay. okay? Nice. Thank you, Rosa Elena. Appreciate it. Nice. So let's continue. My goodness, time is running so fast. So let's see, we have right here uh, some examples and some ideas about these uh, steps, okay? So look, we have uh, this picture right here, and this is how we are going to um, work. This picture, we have something else, but it's the same. We have the idea generation, idea screaming, business analysis, development, this marketing, commercialization, and language, okay? So look. Uh, this is something extra, okay? The new product development process in seven steps, okay? So it's related what what we have in the in the book, but this is an extra picture that I just put it right here, okay? But it's uh, related, okay? So look, number one, uh, let's see, Flor de Maria, help us with the reading, just number one. Yes. Uh, idea generation, uh, edit, edition, iteration, and brainstorming new product ideas. Thank you, Flor. So what is brainstorming? 
brainstorming. What is brainstorming? If I say there? there you go. We have that in Spanish, right? So brainstorming is una lluvia de ideas, right? That means that we have many different things. So we have to list, right? Like put it together. So and we can select just the, the ones that we are going to use. Okay, nice. Uh, number two, Angela, help us with the reading, please. Yes, teacher. Uh, research. Free the back from a substation and complace as audience for products validation. Thank you. Nice, Angela. The research, research, investigation, research. right? Research. Okay. research, research. Okay, feedback. What is feedback? Retroalimentación. retroalimentación. There you go. Feedback. Es una retroalimentación, decimos. That means el feedback es como que usted le diga, no sé, usted vende paletas y usted le dice, mira, te gustó la paleta. Y el cliente le va a decir, mira, sí, pero estaba simple. So that's the feedback, okay? So that's like the observations that you are receiving. So number two right here, that will be the research, okay? The audience to validate that the product has the quality, right? Nice. Uh, Sandra Gladys, number three, help us with the reading, please. Okay, teacher, planning. Bring the products to life, throws, a sketching and illustration. Thank you, planning, okay? Planning, planning, that's when you bring the product to life, okay? So mm. usted lo crea, lo piensa y lo hace, right? So planning, como lo voy a hacer, donde, como, cuando, a donde, right? So planning, you bring the product to life so you can uh, do it, okay? Nice, uh, Gloria Elizabeth, number four. Uh, prototyping, create a finished finished product to use as a sample for mass production. Thank you. Uh, prototyping, okay. Ya han escuchado la palabra en español, we say prototipo, right? Prototipo, who knows what is a prototipo in Spanish? Como crear un modelo. Ah, there you go. There you go, un modelo. Ok, recuerde que esta unidad es como que usted tenga la visión, right, de que está creando un producto. Yo no digo que vamos a crear un robot. Vamos a lo simple, a lo, a lo típico salvadorian, right? So, aquí en El Salvador somos bisneros, así nos conocemos, right? Bisneros y de hasta una piedra la vendemos, right? So, El prototipo es la muestra, right? So, la muestra. Usted piensa en un producto que pueda vender, que pueda comercializar y dice, vaya, este es, así me va a quedar. So, that will be the prototyping, okay? So, when you have the product and now you can copy with the rest, okay? Hace tamales. Tiene que ver con un día hacer la olla de tamales y ver cómo le va a quedar, right? So, y después dice usted, pruebe, pruebe, y le anda dando ahí a todo. Vecino, mire el tamal, como. Me... So, los vecinos le dicen, yeah, delicious. So, now you are ready to do mass production, ¿ok? Ya hace mil tamales, va. Un ejemplo, poniéndolo en Salvadorian words. <laughs> ¿Ok? Nice. Uh, Lourdes, Beatriz, uh, number five. <laughs> You are on mute, uh, Lourdes. Sorry. <laughs> Sourcing. Um, gather materials and secure partners needed for production. Thank you. Sourcing, okay. Sourcing, that would be gathering materials, okay. Por muy tamales, pupusas que usted vaya a hacer, tiene que pensar, ¿quién me va a traer el maíz? ¿De dónde voy a sacar el, la hoja? ¿Qué sé yo? Right? Pensando, as I told you, in something simple, right? That we can create. So you need to think about the products. Who will be the ones that will facilitate 
the, the products or the materials that you need to develop the product. Then uh, number six, let's see, Sulma, number six. Uh, costing, total cost of goods sold to determine and reduce price and gross margin. Perfect, costing, okay, the total cost of the goods sold. So, piense cuánto voy a gastar en hacer una pupusiada ahí para vender, right? No sé, piense en algo, ¿verdad? estoy usando comida para que más, más no nos mantengamos despiertos. <laughs> But you can create something, right? Ya más adelante ustedes van a, de, en esta unidad van a crear algo, okay? So, um, thinking the prices, okay? Mire, yo voy a gastar, I don't know, $200 y en Total, eh, me salen 200 y cuando vendo, vendo 100 dólares. So, do you think that that would be good? I guess no, right? So, because the expenses of the prices or the costs will be higher than the uh, benefits that you will have. So, en todo negocio no debe de pensar en ganar, right? So, ganancia. So, that would be costing. And the last one that says uh, commercialization, okay? Commercialization, that will be launch the product into the market, okay? Hey, nice background, Nelson, thank you. Nice, okay? So, commercialization. So, aquí ya me lanzo al mercado, right? So, I'm, I put the product in the market, so I need to uh, generate uh, benefits, okay? Nice, are we clear in this? Vamos bien, cómo vamos, va aprendiendo, todos vamos a quedar aquí en esta clase con la visión de negocio. <laughs> ok, todos nos vamos a hacer bisneros aquí en esta clase. Ok, but that's good, ok, that's good. Y yo sé que algunos trabajan en, en puestos donde tienen gerencia o personas a cargo y you need to have ideas, ok. No solo estoy hablando de un producto, sino que uh, puede ser... Um, una actividad como en el example that we have from Rodrigo and Edgar, right? So ellos estaban pensando en un curso. So ideas is what we need to do something, okay? So uh, let's continue, okay? Now what we have right here, it's, it, this is an, a small reading, okay? Mm, I don't like this line. Just let me see what happened here. No sé por qué apareció esta línea aquí, pero... Let me see if I can remove it. No me gusta. My goodness. Mm -hmm. My God, it doesn't give me the option to remove this line. Me corta you, need, you, you need to change the the presentation, the diapositive presentation. Mm -hmm. No, but it's not. You can cut the, the line. No, no me deja. Think, yeah. It's like if it is in the background, but it's not. O sea, no, no recuerdo haberla puesto a línea yo ahí. Uish. Bueno, let me see what I can do if I change. Well, sorry for this. No me había dado cuenta que esa línea estaba ahí, pero I guess that we can read, okay? So that's the idea, reading, okay? Remember that in English we have different skills. What is an skill? When I say different skills, Ability. what I... Abilities. Abilities, okay? So in English we have four skills, right? Listening, reading, writing, speaking. Okay, so and we need to work in the four skills. That means that at the end of the course, so you need to have the ability to listen, to talk, to write, okay, and that's something that and read, okay. So we have a, a small article right here, and uh, we are going to read, okay. So the same story como cuando usted vaya a primer grado, le dicen, cuando vea una coma, hay que hacer una pausa, le dice la maestra. Hay que poner una pausa. Cuando vea un punto, hay que detenerse y luego continuar. If you see an exclamation mark, you need to sound. Oh, my God. Like an exclamation. If it is a question, in English, you need to sound as a question. So, 
Let's see. Este, este perrofito, por eso me gustó, porque tiene de todo un poquito. So, we are going to read, ok? We are going to read with the correct uh, pronunciation. So, follow the reading, ok? Because I will say a name and then I will say another name and you need to continue, ok? okay. So, be careful where we are reading, ok? Because I don't know who's next. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, creo que a todos les he preguntado hoy. Quiero ver a quién no le he preguntado. A todos les he preguntado ya. Jancy, Lisbeth, vamos a empezar. Ya le vi ahí que yo quiero leer, dice Jancy. Ok, <laughs> so you are going to start and then somebody else is going to continue. Ok, so uh, go ahead, Jancy, please. Ok, introducción. There are probably as many varieties of new product development system as there are types of company, but most of them share the... Perdón que estoy en el teléfono y lo veo pequeño. Ok. But most of them share the same basic step or state. They act of executive in different ways. Thank you. Stop right there. Thank you, Jancy. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you. We have some uh, words that we are going to double check. Okay. Variarist. Okay, so let me point right here. Okay, this one. Okay, variarist. Okay, variarist. And uh, types. Okay, there are types. Okay, types. And let's see what else. A uh, share, share, share. And stages. Okay, stages, stages, steps or stages. Okay. And executive, executive, just executive in different ways. Okay, nice. Let's see, let's continue. Okay, uh, Nelson, Nelson Edgardo, please continue with the reading. Okay, okay, below, mm -hmm. yep, go ahead. Below, we below, be. We have divided the process in eight states, grouped into three phases. Mm -hmm. Subsequent reading will discuss this phase in great detail. Many of the activity are performed, performed repeatedly throughout the process, but they become more concrete as the product's idea is defined and additional dates are gathered. For example- Okay, okay, stop right there, stop right there. Sorry, uh, yep, right here. Nice, so let's see, we have, if we have new words, Write it down, write it down. And if you see something, oh my goodness, I don't know what is this. So put it there in your notebook, okay? And then we will see the idea, okay? That's why we are reading, okay? To see if we can see the pronunciation and new, no uh, new words as well. So let's see, belong, okay, belong. We have uh, divide, okay? Divide the process into eight stages okay stages okay uh grouped okay in the past grouped into three phrases okay into three phrases uh subsequent subsequent reading will discuss these phrases in uh greater details Okay, greater details, details right here. Many of the activities are performed, okay, are performed uh, repeatedly, okay, repeatedly, okay, uh, throughout, throughout, 
Okay, throughout. So remember the TH. ¿Cómo se pronuncia las TH? Ya les han enseñado eso. Like, th. like the letter C. Mm -hmm. A through. Es como que usted diga three. Ok, las TH hay que sacar un poquito así como la lengua, right? Algo chistoso, pero así es, right? Throughout. Throughout. So, si usted me dice throughout, like this, throughout, no está pronunciando el sonido correctly. Ok, so that would be like a throughout. Throughout. Ok, throughout the process. Ya lo va a leer alguien más nuevamente. Ok, that's why I'm putting the pronunciation para que lo leamos calidad at the end, right? So, throughout the process. But, but, no but, but, but they become more concrete, concrete as the product idea is uh, refined, refined and additionally, or well, additional, additional data, okay? Data or data. Usted va a escuchar a alguien que diga data y usted va a decir, hey, ¿por qué dice data? It's data. Both are correct, okay? One is American and the other one is British, okay? Data or data, both are correct. Are uh, gathered, okay, gathered. Nice, okay, let me uh, clear this to continue with the rest. Let me, okay, so let's see. Um, todos le veo cara que quieren leer, pero solo tengo que escoger uno. Mayra, 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 todos están. Yo quiero leer, right? Exciting, but the time is just for one. My goodness, Darwin, I'm sorry. Darwin tiene ahí que yo, 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 right? So, but I'm sorry. Mayra, Mayra, help us, okay? Continue, we are right here, okay? Okay. For example, at each stage of the process, the product team is asking, is this a viable product concept? But the answer change as the product is refined and more market perspectives can be added to the evaluation. Nice, thank you, nice, okay. So let's see, let's say uh, stage, okay, stage. Um, let's see, is this a viable, viable, okay, product concept, okay question right so concept when it's a question normalmente in english la entonación va at the end like how are you okay so that's a question right the intonation is this a viable product concept that's the pronunciation for the question right so and then let's see product refined refined uh, perspectives, okay, perspectives. So let's see, before to read it one more time, do we have a new words right here? Do we have uh, something that we are like, I don't know what it is. So that's the idea. No les he traído un párrafo como muy complicado, pero tampoco uno bien básico. That's the idea, right? Que usted agarre nuevas palabras. Las que ya se las puede, que bueno, right? But the idea is that you need to improve your vocabulary, get more new words. So do we have new words right here? A stage. A lot of. Okay, a lot of words. <laughs> okay, let's yes. see it, let's see it. Remember, eh, yo no le voy a revisar un cuaderno, ¿verdad? Mire, y usted ha escrito algo de la clase. No, right? So, uh, I'm not like that, right? So, no estoy aquí para, para estar regañando a nadie, right? Mi, mi, mi objetivo es ayudarle, ¿ok? So, uh, if we have many words, so anote, anote las palabras que no sabe. Vamos a estudiarlas, buscar el meaning. And the idea es que se le queden. Haga una mini planita. Ok, usted me dice, ay, esta maestra, ¿cómo nos está diciendo que hagamos planas si yo paso trabajando todo el día? Mini plana, ok, una mini plana. That means that you will work, if this work, for example, like stages, is a new work, so write it down. So then we are going to see the meaning and then you 
do like the mini planita, right? Stages, 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 stages. Um, remember, I told you, a este, en este proceso ya nivel intermedial, okay? Ya ustedes no son beginners, okay? You are intermedial, okay? So that means that you need to um, improve a lot, okay? Because then as soon as we finish intermedial, you will be advanced. Cuando llegue allá al advance, usted tiene que llegar bien filudo en el inglés, right? En todas las habilidades, okay? So that means that in, right now in the intermediate level, so we need to get more words, more vocabulary, okay? And how we are going to get new words? By learning them, okay? Learning the meaning, learning how to write it, and use the words, okay? So, le puede parecer chistoso, usted va a decir mentiras, pero es true. I told you, I will give you many tips, okay? Ayer les di dos tips. Now I will give you one more. So, every time that you have a new work, so put it in a, I don't know, like in a piece of paper. And um, put it like in your room, okay? Cuando vea una palabra nueva. Escríbala allí en un papelito y péguela allí a la par de la cama. Póngala allí en el baño, no sé, donde usted lo quiera poner ahí en la casa. La familia le va a decir que, que ya le está agarrando algo raro, right? But you know that you want to learn, ¿ok? Ahí dejen que la familia diga que ya le están pelando los cables, right? But that's the way that you will learn, ¿ok? Yo así hacía. Post it. A veces uno tiene los post it y ni los ocupa. Anote ahí la palabrita, stages. Póngala ahí en el espejo todos los días que usted esté peinando. Hey, stages. Those are like steps, etapas. No se le va a olvidar. Cuando la vuelva a ver y ya se va a acordar, ahí va a decir, oh, the stages. Ya usted no va a decir steps. Ok, basic level, usted dice steps, intermediate level, you can say, oh, the stages of this is this. Y ahí se va a quedar, hey, este sí sabe inglés, right? Ya no dice steps, ya dice stages, ok? So that means this as a synonym of the work, ok? So, y ahí le aseguro que la palabra no se le va a olvidar jamás, ok? So, ese es otro tip que le doy, eso no se los cobro, esos son gratis. Ok, so, así haga, ponga ahí en, en un post-it, un papelito por ahí y lo pega ahí en la parte de la almohada. Cuando usted abra los ojos en la mañana, lo primero que va a ver es la palabra y se va a acordar. So, va a dormirse y le la va a ver. Ok, so, do it y ya va a ver. Una, ponga, una a la semana, dos, tres, no, a tapizar el cuarto ahí de, 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 de post-its, right? Ahí sí a la familia le va a decir que ya le falta cinco para el dólar, right? So, but let's do it, ok? Do it, ok? Hágame caso y va a ver que sí va a aprender muchos works. Ok, so stages are like etapas, steps, right? In Spanish. Let's see, do we have any other work? Alguien dijo ahí que there are many works. My goodness. What would be the other one? Gather. Gather. Let's see what is gather, 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 gather. It's which one? La, 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 la. It's what? Right, it's Data. Right. This one. Gather. gather. This one. Mm -hmm. What is gather? Gather. Esta está en, en pasado, right? So la palabra es gather, but this one is in past. It's a past participle, okay? It says uh, it's similar to concrete. It's uh, accumulate, uh, assemble. So gather, yo le podría decir, la idea es que lo aprendamos en inglés, right? The meaning in English. So it's synonym to... Um, Accumulate, okay, put it together, okay? So yo les digo, hey, let's gather together on Friday, okay? Reunámonos, le estoy diciendo, encontrémonos allá en Metro el viernes. So gathering, put it together, okay? So put it together, eso es gathering. In this case, está en pasado, right? En pasado participio. Pero la palabra es gather, okay? Gather es como unir, right? So... Eh, ponerlo juntito, 
Okay, so that will be gathered. Uh -huh. The other work, otra más. Talk out. Okay, let's see, let's see uh, the word is, which one? Let's see which one. Repeatedly, talk out. I, throughout, I ok, throughout, throughout. Mm. <ríe> ok, nice, aprendamos la pronunciación, por eso he puesto las palabras para que aprendamos, aprendamos, esa es la idea, right, so throughout, ajá, uh -huh. what is throughout. throughout, esa palabra está bonita, mire, para pronunciarla, throughout, ok, throughout. so true, la palabra, por ejemplo, es uh, throughout, ok, ok, Nowadays, imagínense, aquellos tiempos de uno que yo estudiaba, no, no teníamos los, los smartphones que we have right now, right? So now in your phone, you can download an application that's a dictionary. Antes andaba uno el gran almanaque, así va, el gran librote cargando el dictionary. Nowadays, so it's old fashioned. So in your phone, you have the words and also you have the meaning, okay? So throughout. It's um, in every part, it says, um, durante todo. O sea, esta es como una expresión de enlace. Throughout the process, a través del proceso. Okay, throughout the process, okay. Throughout, a través de, algo así, ¿verdad? Es como una linking work, okay. En un texto es como... Una palabra de enlace, así decimos en español, right? Linking works, ok? So throughout the process, that means a través de el proceso, ok? That would be throughout, ok? Throughout, a través de. So lo puede ver, lo va a ver ahí como una preposition, ok? Como una preposition que es un enlace entre eh, lo, la frase, en este caso, repeatedly throughout the process, ¿ok? That means que algo que se va a estar repitiendo constantemente a través del proceso, right? So that will be the, the work. But it's nice. Diga la palabra throughout. 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 Si no saca la lengua, no la está pronunciando bien. Throughout. throughout, okay, throughout, porque la TH es como una serpiente, right, like throughout, throughout, okay, TH, okay, throughout. there you go, nice, mañana le voy a preguntar estas palabras, a ver si es cierto que nos acordamos, <laughs> okay, so throughout, nice, uh -huh. do we have any other work? Greedy detail. Okay, let's see, let's see, Rafa, Rafa, where, 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 where? Mm -hmm. Ayúdenme a encontrarla, where is? This face is in greater detail. Oh, uh, no. My goodness. One, ah, one, this one, two, one. Two, these two, yeah. phrases in a greater yeah. detail. Okay, greater this one, right? Detail, okay? So let's see, what is the meaning of this? Okay, remember that we need to also uh, see the content in English, igual en español, right? A veces we are reading in Spanish and there is a word that we don't know, but we need to put it into context, okay? So hay que ponerla en contexto, le dicen a usted, ¿verdad? Ponga la palabra en contexto. Ah, quiere decir eso. So, detail. So, this is a noun. Okay, this is a noun. And it's, it's similar to um, detail. It's like more specific. Okay, uh, more specific. It's something that we can uh, describe. Okay, so describe an item. So, ¿cómo le podría decir? Um, Let me see. Details, okay? Detalle, okay? Específico. So, greater details, okay? These phrases in greater details, okay? So, grandes detalles, okay? So, estamos hablando en el párrafo de un 
cómo desarrollar un producto, right? Develop a system product or something that there are companies in different stages. So greater uh, details, so grandes detalles, right? So that would be the, um, the meaning of that, okay? Rafael, nice. Perfect. Um, do we have any other work, Osman? Mm, uh, yes. Uh, the the word gather. Uh -huh. Gather. Uh, this one. Uh, gather. Gather. Okay. So this one will be like together. Okay. So let me together. see right here. Gather. Gather. That would be like collect, okay? Data are gathered. So este está en pasado participio, right? So the work is gathered, but this one it's in past participle. And uh, data are, the, the data are gathered. So aquí sería la información colectada, la información adquirida, la información que se tiene del product, right? So that would be gathered. Okay, I don't know, Osman, if that's clear. So, colectada, algo así, right? Colectada. Yeah, recolectada. Dice usted, voy a recolectar información sobre, I don't know, X cosas, right? Así decimos en español. Voy a colectar, voy a preguntarle y ver qué me sale, right? So, that would be gather information, okay? In this case, it's in past participle. Nice, yes. perfect, okay. nice. Me gusta que han salido muy buenas palabras aquí. Nice. Uh, do we have yes. any other one? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Yes, yes, Sandra, uh, go ahead. Subsequent. 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 Okay. So in Spanish we say subsequent, right? So es como. Eh, Continue, okay, look, three phrases. Lo Subsequent, que sigue, lo que sigue. exactamente, lo que sigue, readings, okay. Subsequent readings, okay, oh, para darle una secuencia, un proceso. Acuérdense que estamos hablando de pasos para desarrollar un producto. It says steps or stages. So uh, besides grouping uh, phrases, we can do readings, we can do research, para poder desarrollar el producto, develop the product, right? Nice, Sandrita, uh, and nice. In this, in this course? Uh, this let's course? discuss. This one? Discuss, discuss this. yes. Discuss. Okay, that will be uh, discussed. So, that will be reading will, reading will discussed. So, what we read, okay, what we read is what we are going to talk, okay? This discussed, that would be like, déjeme ver cómo me lo tira aquí esta cuestión, discuss, discussing. So, that would be um, discutir, right? So, discutir based on the readings. It says, subsequent readings, um, We'll discuss three phrases, okay? So they are going to talk about three phrases, okay? Th tres frases with greater details, okay? So that will be uh, discussed. The yeah, context to find your work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah, yes, the context define the work. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what they are going to discuss, right? The phrases, the phrases that are in the readings, okay? In the yeah. readings. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. there you go, Osmin, nice. Okay. Now, do we have any other sure. word? Go ahead. Um, I, I have a doubt. Go ahead, Rafael. What is the pronunciation of is, is phrases or phrases? These phrases, okay, phrases. This one is plural, phrase, singular, right? But this one is plural, so that would be phrases, phrases. Si fuera... What does that mean? In the Spanish, what is the meaning? 
frase, frase. frase en una oración, okay. en una oración a usted le dicen, ah, aquí hay una frase, un, un párrafo, una phrase. Si es una, but this one says three phrases, plural. Okay, I, I think that in, in this case, refer the phases. Phases. Mm, mm, no, no, these cost no. three uh, okay. phrases, okay? Like steps, you mean como etapas, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, uh, phrases are like the... Las frases, ok, porque estamos hablando de un reading, ok, de un reading que va a ser discutido en tres esta, eh, phrases or three different ideas, ok. Nice, my goodness, time is over, so we have time just for reading in one time, ok, let's see, do I have any volunteer to read the whole paragraph, alguien que quiera. Leer todo el párrafo, todos quieren, pero yo sé que solo puedo escoger a uno porque we have less than 10 minutes, ok? And I have to pass the attendance. Let's see, one volunteer, just one, no se peleen, solo uno, para leer el texto completo. Mm. Thank you, Osmin. Yo sabía que iba a haber un volunteer right here. Thank you, Osmin. So, Let's go. Let's read it, okay? The whole paragraph. Okay. okay. Introduction. There are probably as many body is in my phone here. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Variety. Probably as many body, but it is the new product. The government say. Mm, there are type of companies, but most, but most of them share the same basic, basic of stage. They are just, they are just ex, executed in different ways. Below we have the the bill the, the, the process into eight stage group group into three phase three phase subsequent reading is with is is with discuss this no it says rep rep rapidly throughout the the process but they become more conquered as the as the um, excuse me as the product idea is refined and additional. They are guarded. For example, at each at each stage of the process, the product team is asking, is this a by by no viable product cons concept? But the answer chain is the product is refined and more market perspective. Perspective can be added to the evaluation. Okay, nice. Thank you, Ashwin. Thank you. Nice. Okay. So uh, remember reading. Okay, so this is just reading. Okay. So, no sé cuántos libros ha leído usted ya en inglés. Espero que sí. Estamos intermedio. Ok, no se me espante. Yo no quiero asustar a nadie, pero tenemos que leer. Tenemos que 
eh, ir leyendo. No sé si ya han leído algún librito. Yo no le puedo decir, miren, lea este almanaque, right? Because as I told you, I know que you have different activities to do. Um, no, usted no se, de, no se dedica solo a esto, right? Que galán fuera que todo el día pasáramos solo aquí, pero no. Hay que, hay que, hay que trabajar, right? But um, yo tengo por ahí algunos libros eh, bonitos. No le voy a poner un gran librote así, va, mire, léalo para mañana. No, right? Pero if you want, I can share with you some links or some uh, small books, unas 10 paginitas, lo más, yes, para que please. se vaya leyendo. Ok, no le voy a poner un, un libro complicado, right? So, libros de niños. A veces uno dice, ay, qué fácil, right? Pero en English, right? So, ¿cómo? consígase ahí. A veces ahí los andan este, vendiendo, ¿verdad? A dos por la cora los libros, ahí en el centro, right? So, ahí cumple de eso, de los, de los niños, de, de muñequitos. So, but we need to read, ok? We need to read because even in Spanish, o sea, esto no es porque es inglés, en español no nos gusta leer alguna vez, right? Es raro la persona que, que le gusta, right? So, reading is very important, ok? Leyendo aprendo palabras, leyendo aprendo eh, pronunciación, ok? So, si usted no, 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 no tiene eso de leer, no hallamos nuevas palabras. Yo sé que habían más palabras en ese reading que les puse. Ese era un pedacito. El reading completo son como cinco hojas. Yo lo puse en la introduction. Ok. Y hallamos muchas palabras. So, ahí está otra, otra idea, otro tip que yo le doy. Busque. Yo no le digo, mire, vaya a buscar un, un libro de, no sé, de medicina en inglés. Ni yo lo voy a entender, pero no sé ni en español esos términos. Right. So, it's difficult. Le digo, vaya y busque un libro de niños, de cuentos. Y ahí va a ver, hey, mire, la caperucita roja, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? ¿Alguien sabe? Ahí se los voy a dejar de tarea. Imagínense, la caperucita roja, que es un cuento de chiquitines. ¿En inglés cómo es? Si lo busco y yo voy a decir, ah, sí, es la caperucita roja en inglés. Ahí lo buscan, ahí les va a dar risa cómo se dice. Ok, so I have to pass the attendance. My goodness, I have just three minutes to pass the attendance. Ok, so let's see Ada, Patricia. Present. Thank you, Adriana, Stephanie. Present. Nice, Anna, Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela de Jesús. Present, Thank you, Darwin Edgardo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Joanna Patricia. Joanna no vino hoy. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Margarita Stephanie. No. Uh, Mayra Melanie. Present. Thank you, Nelson Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Ophelia Orellana. Here teacher. Thank you, Osmin Baires. Present teacher, good night. Thank you, good night. <laughs> Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you, Sandra Gladys. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Susana Carolina. Susana, eh, Jancy, Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. M. Sulma Rosaura. Present. Thank you. Nice. So time is over. Eh, le voy a pedir aquí a Adriana. Adriana, Stephanie, si me regala un, unos minutitos, no la voy a depelar mucho. Solo okay, hay teacher. un pequeño teacher. tiempito ahí. Yes. Okay. Teacher, no me mencionó. My goodness, Flor de María, por Dios. Hoy he venido ciega, niño. Sorry, pero es la hora. Flor de María Carballo, ahí tiene su asistencia. No se preocupe, ahí está. Ok, so, la emoción de que el tiempo se me acaba. Eh, no miro. Pero, so, here we go, ok. So, we are good, so far so good. 
¿Ya han escuchado esa frase? So far so good. Vamos bien. No se me espante. Ok, no quiero que nadie vaya a estar asustado aquí. Uy, la maestra nos pone a leer, la maestra nos dice esto. Tranquilo, relax, decía Edgar. Relax, relax, ok. So, vamos a sobrevivir todos, ok. Pero tenemos que sacarle provecho a estas dos horitas porque miren, rapidito se va el tiempo. ¿eh? Cuando vine a sentir ya el tiempo estaba ya over, ok. Pero vamos bien, vamos bien. Y lo bueno es que a usted no se duerme, eso es lo importante. <risa> Ok, so uh, Adriana me espera un ratito, so then the rest, I hope to see you tomorrow, ok, no se les voy a olvidar, busquen a la caperucita roja, a mí no me olvidan las cosas. Bad reading rules. Ah, ahí está, Roselena, ok, so miren, ya ven, y es un cuentecito de, de niños, ok, so ahí está, ahí están las claves para agarrar. I know, more I know only Cinderella and the Snow White. Ah, ok, de Cinderella, la Cenicienta, ok. Y Robin Hood. Ok, Robin Hood. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you, appreciate it. Okay, gracias por okay. participar and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, thank okay. you. Good evening, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Yeah, really. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Sí, Adri, Zulma me parece aquí todavía conectada. Ahí está, ya. Bien, Adri, so I'm sorry que le voy a desvelar un ratito, pero no es mucho, Adri, ¿ok? No problem. No problem, it's just like less than 10 minutes, ¿ok? So that's your boy? That's your baby? Yes. Oh my yes. God, and how old is he? Baby. Mm -hmm. Matías. Matías, hi Matías. Hello Matías. Hello. ¿Cómo estás Matías? Bien. Yo pensé que ya estaba dormido Matías, ya son las 10 de la noche. ¿A qué hora te dormís Matías? No sé. Hasta que se duerme la mamá, hasta que se duerme tu mamá. Okay. Ay, o sea que ahí está esperándola Ahí está esperándola Ajá Matías Ahí vamos a enseñarte inglés Matías Tienes que decir Hello Teacher Yay, you know okay. Teacher, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? Tienes que decir. Yo, soy una, yo soy una bola de tenis ah, ¿Qué otra palabra te puedes en inglés? Los colores. Rojo, azul y morado. Y... Están en inglés, los, los números. One, two, three, four. Yay, bravo, Matías. Qué chivo, ya te puedes los, los numbers. Ok, después te vamos a poner, a, a, te vamos a preguntar los colores. No te quedas en la clase, tenés que aprender. Todos los días tenés que aprender una nueva palabra. <risa> <risa> bueno, este, Adri, espero que se sientan bien, ¿verdad? Con lo que hemos visto ayer y ahora. Eh, bien, tengo algo. ¿El qué? Tengo una libreta. Ah, ok, that's nice, that's nice. No sé cuál es su, su opinión, Adri, de la clase, cómo se siente, cómo ve eh, la clase, lo que llevamos de momento. Sí, este, la, he, he sentido la diferencia porque eh, veníamos Muy como bien, realizando ciertas eh, actividades este, con el antiguo profesor porque llevábamos con él. Quiero ver. Estaba haciendo la cuenta, no sé si, si me equivoco, el módulo 5 o 6 y el primero del intermedio. Entonces, ajá, ya como ese esquema de, 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 de la misma metodología de un maestro, ¿verdad? Ya era como, eh, ya se nos había hecho como una costumbre, ¿verdad? Pero a mí me gusta como lo, los cambios o los desafíos, más que todo cuando ahorita... Este, nos está poniendo a leer a, a, a todos porque nosotros sí leíamos de hecho la, lo de las, las conversaciones que salían en, en el, que salían en los libros 
este, sí las leíamos bastante, pero en grupos pequeños, donde entre nosotros nos, pues sí, ¿verdad? Si alguno oía mal que el compañero mencionaba mal, tal vez el compañero le decía, no, es así, ¿verdad? Pero eh, no era como eh, algo fijo, pues, porque si no te corregían o no, seguía leyendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso a mí, de verdad que lo, lo veo bastante beneficioso. Eh, lo de los tips, la, la, de verdad que se le, se le agradece mucho porque a veces uno, aunque ya ha escuchado, ¿verdad? A estas alturas de nuestra edad, ya uno, eh, si ya se metió en este rollo de querer aprender inglés, <risa> lo primero sí es que ya, ¿qué música qué en inglés? Mí? ¿Qué las películas? Porque yo soy el patito Juan para eso. Sí, mi amor. <risa> este, entonces, este, pero oyéndola a usted y diciéndole yo eso hice o eso me funcionó a mí también motiva porque quieras o no uno el que tiene que dar el primer paso o sea, si no es uno o sea, por muy buen maestro que uno tenga es mentira o sea, es mentira siempre tiene que salir de nosotros hacer ese ese esfuerzo, ese sacrificio para, para poder aprender bien las sí, cosas. Sí, definitivo. Miren, a este nivel, como yo les digo, o sea, ustedes están llegando a un intermedio ya. O sea, a este nivel ya uh -huh. hay que hacer algo diferente, que allá en el básico, pues sí, yo tal vez leía, medio repasaba, pero aquí es donde uno tiene que ver que mejoro, porque ya estamos llegando a un avanzado. Estamos queriendo llegar a un módulo sí. avanzado. Entonces hay que ver de corregir gramática, eh, cositas, por ejemplo, como les mencioné ayer del verbo to be. Ya ustedes tienen que estar bien pulidos ahí en el verbo to be. Y eh, hubieron algunas cositas por ahí que, que no estaban correctas. Entonces, eh, así poco a poco. O sea, no es algo, porque como yo se los digo a cada instante, o sea, yo sé que ustedes son personas ocupadas, pues no se dedican solo a esto, esto es un extra, ¿verdad? Un extra uh -huh. esfuerzo que ustedes hacen, pero así poquito a poquito les voy a ir ayudando para que vayamos mejorando y, y lo que yo quiero, pues es que ustedes se sientan tranquilos, ¿va? yo les digo, no se preocupen, aquí no le voy a pegar a nadie, sino que ayudarle, ¿verdad? Darles consejos, darles palabras, darles material para que ustedes... Uh -huh mejoren, esa es la idea. Sí, y, y una de las cosas que bastante como hemos recomendado, ¿verdad? Es que eh, se nos corría en el momento o, o que a la persona que esté eh, participando, eh, así como usted lo ha hecho en esta clase, me he fijado de que ajá, se ha notado que no decimos bien la palabra y algo y la, usted la ha subrayado algo para para esa recalcarla, ¿verdad? Y repetir. Ok, bueno, qué bien, qué bien. O sea, ahí, ahí, por eso me gusta esto de hablar con individual, porque ahí yo puedo ver eh, su opinión, ¿verdad? Ver qué, 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 qué podemos mejorar para el grupo en general. Lo bueno que ustedes ya hasta cierto punto se se conocen, pues vienen trabajando juntos y hay como esa confianza. Ah, mi compañero, ya me lo puedo, no me da pena, ¿verdad? Porque al inicio eso es el que a uno le da pena. Pero sí. yo sí lo voy a poner a trabajar en grupitos, pero también entre todos, en el grupo general, eh, leamos, veamos, sí. respondamos, opinemos. Ajá, que es la pena, ¿verdad? Vencerla. Exacto, exacto. Pero vamos bien, vamos bien ahí, ¿verdad? Yo nada más pedirles eh, paciencia porque pues sí somos 20 según la lista. Yo a veces quisiera preguntarles a todos, pero yo tengo que preguntarle a todos, ¿verdad? Eh, para que todos participen, no le voy a preguntar solo a uno y a otro no, sino que tengo que ser parejo pues con el grupo y, y pedirle opinión a todos para que todos se sientan pues parte de la clase pero eh, ahí vamos ok, ahí vamos ahí conociéndolos Sí, okay. muchas gracias por, por esto verdad, la, la retroalimentación también verdad, eso eh, es importante bueno, ya de por sí verdad ya tenemos que reconocer todos que estamos en un nivel ya ese intermedio y, y tenemos que esforzarnos un poco más de cada uno. 
para que se demuestre todo lo que nos han enseñado. Yo he ocupado el mismo cuadernito en todos lo, lo los, los niveles, porque lo, yo lo retomé en el nivel 4 este año, porque hace dos años me quedé hasta el nivel 3, siempre con Instacor. Pero, pero en eso que se cambiaron los horarios en el centro donde íbamos, que era, que era presencial, antes de que llegara Exacto. la pandemia. Ajá, entonces... Eh, cambiaron los horarios, yo ya no pude porque igual Matitas estaba pequeño entonces, mil y una excusa ¿verdad? para no continuar hasta este año que retomé ajá, desde ya ah, ok, entonces usted tendría que como ahí tiene sus apuntes revisar porque uh -huh. la base verbo to be, presente simple presente continuo, pasado simple eso uh -huh. se ve allá en el beginner, allá al inicio okay. entonces ya en el intermedio ya es como Vamos a empezar a ver el presente perfecto, pasado perfecto, ya un, un poquito más complejo lo que es la gramática, pero, pero ahí, ahí yo le recomendaría revisar sus apuntes para que tengamos claro lo que es la base y, y seguir ¿verdad? con el nivel intermedio. Pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos a ir dando brochazos también de cositas que son básicas que deben de, de conocer. De recordar. Exacto. Bueno, entonces, mire, gracias Adri por el tiempo y gracias Matías ahí por el de velo, Matías, si quieres resistente tú, mira, son las diez y cuarto casi ya y yo te veo, pero que no tenés nada de sueño, So guerrero, ya veo, <ríe> mi niño no, mi, yo tengo mi niño, tiene dos años, él, uh -huh. eh, él quisiera esperarme, pero el sueño lo uh -huh. vence y se queda dormido, <ríe> entonces, no, ya... sí. y no duerme, no, no el, duerme en el día. ¿Cómo no? Duerme, duerme un rato. Es que está chiquito, tarde. ¿verdad? Sí, está dos, dos añitos. añitos. Ajá, ayer recuerdo que dijo dos añitos. Sí, Matitas, este, usualmente dormí en las tardes y cuando no he dormido, se duerme en temprano. Pero quizás como me ve. No, pues claro. Que a mí activa, que todavía no le apago la luz. Pero él es único, es un niño único, tiene otro. Híjole, creo que se quedó ahí. Freeze. Ajá. No, yo tengo. De la fiesta. Ah, okay, you have two. Le Mateo, Le Mateo, el mayor. Ah, okay. Y el baby ya está dormido. Creo que es mi inter, quizás el que está. Hola, hola, Adri. Creo que se quedó mi inter ahí. Es, Ajá, es... se trago. Sí, pero bueno, pero, o sea, tiene no, dos, ¿verdad? Y el chichi se ya está dormido. No, es el Matías, el pequeño. Él es, Mateo es el mayor, él. Mateo. Mateo. My goodness, ¿en how old is Mateo? Sí, sí, sí. Yo ya crecí. Él es Mateo. Ah, Mateo. Hello, Mateo. Hello. How are you, Mateo? Mateo ya puede inglés. Él enseña en su escuela. Yo está. Mateo, sí, hace por los colores, los números. Ya puede decir qué le gusta, qué no le gusta. Ay, <risa> mire, qué bien, qué bueno. Bueno, Adri, mire, ya conocí a sus dos ch chiquitines ahí. Se parecen, pero se mira como que Matías es más. Tremendo. Más así se mira, le mira la carita ahí de Matías, más así no, como eso, mmm, no, de no, cuidado. Sí, así es. Bueno, pues Adri, gracias por el tiempo, le agradezco un montón y espero que nos saludemos mañana nuevamente. Sí, no, gracias a usted también igual por el tiempo. Me quería okay. hablar. Thank you. Bye, Matías. Bye, decime. Bye. Bye. In In English. Bye. bye. Good bye, bye. night, good night. Good night. <laughs> bueno, gracias. Thank you. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, teacher. Hey, bye. Take care. <laughs>
Sí, tú no, 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 no. Sí, ha hecho no, no. Bye bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Take bye, care. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye, teacher.